Hello, good morning everyone and welcome to Pete TV. Guys, uh, this morning I am talking to you about real estate. Why? Because I have so many friends and then family members, classmates in elementary and high school. And they are asking so many questions about what is real estate and how to buy how to sell if you want to sell as well then they have so many questions so this video is just timely and very relevant because i will be teaching to you the basic information or knowledge about real estate again this is pete your motivational speaker your media and digital influencer and your financial educator so for today i'll be discussing to you the simple details and information about real estate this video is entitled real estate 101 but before that i have to tell you something about me okay guys i am actually an accredited and verified seller or broker referrer internationally with SMDC so for this connection I am actually involve myself in real estate okay so here we go um, what do you mean by uh, before we will start I have a few questions like what do you mean by URF what is T TCP what is DP or what is pre-selling and then what is RFO what do you mean what do you mean by freehold what do you mean by leasing or capital gain or something like that because I have so many people asking me what are these things so for this reason <clears throat> I am actually making a video to all of you so first what is a URF that's the number one question. Pete, what is URF? They're always asking that, okay? URF stands for Unit Reservation Form. And I have an example here. This is called the Unit Reservation Form, okay? Without this, you cannot book the unit or the property. Either it's landed or a condo. That's number one. It's very common. So what is TCP? TCP stands for... Uh, total contract price okay net lease is actually the price of the unit itself while TCP it already includes the miscellaneous fee or add-on charges you know that is TCP or total contract price what do you mean by DP DP means down payment then what is thin it's important because when you are purchasing a property you have to have a TIN, okay? It's tax identification number. So it deals with tax. Then what is the difference between pre-selling and RFO? Okay, pre-selling means you are actually buying just the plan, the blueprint of the property, whether it's landed or a condo unit, meaning it's under construction. While RFO stands for ready for occupancy so meaning when you already have the down payment of five or ten percent you can already move in to your unit that is rfo but the problem with that rfo is more expensive and they have lesser appreciation value because the building is already there okay so what is rf rf stands for ready for occupancy what do you mean by cts pete CTS means contract to sell. It means it is actually the document uh, that will give you the assurance that you are the owner of that particular unit. So what do you mean by SPA? Special power of attorney. Most especially if you are an OFW, so you are based in overseas, then you have you need to have this SPA or special power of attorney. Like for example, you will take a bank loan, so you cannot go back home. So you need an SPA or and or 
you have your property to be rented out to other people, then you have your cousin or sister or parents can be used as SPA in behalf of you while you are abroad, you know, for uh, for the rental of your unit. So what do you mean by freehold and leasing? Freehold means the ownership of the property is actually eternal, so it's lifetime. While leasing, it means uh, the foreigner can only lease or rent the the leasing means wrong long-term renting for example you have 50 years leasing or 100 years leasing like here in singapore do you have like 99 years or 99 years like that there's no freehold in singapore in the philippines if you're a filipino so if you buy a property the ownership is freehold means it's lifetime it's eternal what do you mean by capital gain capital gain means it's actually the appreciation value of the property you have purchased that is uh, roughly six percent capital gain what do you mean by vat or value added tax value added tax is 12 percent there's actually a price range for that if the property is three uh, the cost is three million hundred ninety nine thousand and two hundred pesos and below there's no vat okay but if the property is cost or worth three million hundred ninety nine thousand two hundred and one then it is subject for twelve for a twelve percent vat okay what is a property tax property tax is the year the yearly tax that you are going to pay to the government it's roughly one to two percent it it varies to different cities like from manila it's different from pasay from pasay different to taguig or mandaluyong or pasig or or uh, any city it has different uh, property tax okay percentage guys this is uh, important one property or one condo unit especially in smdc uh, the owner is uh, maximum up to five people so for example for your whole family whole family you have your parents father and mother then the three kids everybody the five people can be included as the owner of the property so okay guys your the question is what are the requirements to book or to buy a unit okay we only have three first you have the signed urf okay or the unit reservation form which is i will show it to you which is this one okay then second you have to have a valid id what id i am especially passport then third is the reservation fee reservation fee ranging from five thousand it depends because we have five thousand reservation fee in pampanga then we have ten thousand fifteen thousand twenty thousand or twenty five thousand that's the reservation fees for smdc it depends to a condo project okay guys again i am connected with smdc if you want to purchase if you want to buy please do um, private message me or you can also email me and ask more details and sample computation again smdc the biggest and the, the richest real estate developer in the philippines and sooner or later uh, smdc will be having also in Palawan, in Bohol, Cebu, now we have in Davao. Okay, why is it the best to invest in the Philippines? Well, you know, Philippines is actually one of the fastest growing economy in the world. In Asia, we are number two at 6.7% GDP in 2017 and 2018 so it's the best time to invest now you know what i have already my three condo units and going to be four because i'll be buying also in smdc davao in lane residences last 2015 in 2015 i bought my first condo unit at only 2.9 million pesos now it is already valued at 7 million pesos so four, more or less three to four million in just three years time so how much more if it is being delivered to me or already a turnover, then it wor it is worth more or, vi all or valued more. So you have to have 
a real estate in your life and the younger you are the better because the higher appreciation value and you have the capacity to pay for the bank loan okay again guys i am with smdc if you want to uh buy or purchase please do not hesitate to ask me and if you want to sell you can refer me to your friends and i will give you a commission for that that's all i have to go now bye bye thank you so much god bless everyone be blessed to bless others and think and grow rich and the secret of living is giving bye bye